Hello, and welcome to a Fallout 76 episode. We're here outside Camden Park, and we're here to meet up with vendor bot Chad. He is a responder bot stationed in this little ice cream food stand here at Camden Park. When you spawn in, there's usually about six low-level scorched, and they can be annoying, especially when you're server hopping to get better plans. Now, the game just had an update a few days ago, so all of the vendors are starting to carry more things and label them a whole lot better. It always triggers this daily quest. So let's head over to Vendorbot Chad and see what excavator power armor plans and mods he is carrying today. Now, I warn you, the plans are very expensive. I could only afford one plan, one that I really thought would be useful, only because I die so much, and that's the medic pump. So let's take a look at what he has. Let's go around here. Okay, let's scroll down to the excavator plans. Now he's so far the only robot that is carrying excavator plans. There are different robots all across the, I almost said Commonwealth, Appalachia that have different plans. Some are all Raider plans, some are X01 plans, so you just have to find the right robot carrying the right stuff. And yes, they are quite expensive for plans, only because you, you can continue to make them and sell them to Why other players, or when we get our vending stations, be able to put them into vending machines. So plans you have to build and mods attach to either your weapon or your power armor and everything is included and they are a and lot cheaper. Is such a happy place. I'm That's just checking out to see what I other stuff he has for sale. And ammo. I'm trying to budget how much money I have. So this is what I end up purchasing, the medic pump for 11.28. Ouch. What that does is it gives you a stim pack boost um, if you're in your power armor, which I have it for body armor, but I don't have anything for my excavator armor. Now the only difference between plans and mods and how they're listed is look for the item stats. It says black titanium. That means it's for the excavator armor. So the explosive vent, it's for your legs, and the Tesla coils, that's for the torso. So all you have to do is attach these to your power armor. Now, as usual, I goof up something, and you'll see later what I ended up doing incorrectly. You can only have one mod per armor piece. So I purchased the I'm Tesla coils you should steal from and the explosive vent for the legs. On Bobby Finn's also not a good idea to jump, jump off a building, say, around the White Spring and set off an explosion that's going to turn all those robots against you. Okay, let's bid farewell to Vendorbot Chad and fast travel back to my camp so we can install these. There's the medic pump. I'm just learning it here. So then when I get back to camp, it's a lot easier and I don't have to do this there. And I have the two mods that I purchased. There's no information there. I think the only information actually shows up as to what it does is when you're actually installing it on the power armor. Okay, we are back at camp and ready to install these items on our excavator power armor. And yes, I went ahead and installed power doors on my house. I had to actually tear the entire house down and rebuild it just to put uh, power doors on because they need to be on a foundation. 
So here we are. I had not set up the um, power armor station at all. It's having a problem dropping and you'll see why. It basically disappears. The reason is that I have a roof. So I went to do it again. And then I remembered, right, I just have to remove the roof pieces. Just store those. Because I'm not paying for another power armor. I ended up doing this and they kept dumping them up on the roof. So just grab it and bring it down. It's just that it's a bit too high. I should have just switched out to the other one, which is the two semi-curved pieces. And all you have to do, thanks to a subscriber who told me this, is just replace the roof pieces. Okay, here are our two mods. So here's the explosive venting. And hit A, attach mod, or whatever's on your controller or PC. Just go ahead and attach the mod. Increased damage from impact landing. Absolutely. Okay, so here was my first problem. I figured that it would store the mod and I could use it for the opposite leg, but it does not. It is a one-time use. So now I have to find or return back to VendorBot Chad to get the other explosive vent leg. And here was the other mod, Tesla Coils. Now, as you can see, some of the ingredients are grayed out. Let's go back to that one. Nope, back up to Tesla coils. Basically, people have told me that it may show that ingredients are grayed out, but since it's a mod, all you have to do is attach it. You do not need any more ingredients. Just go ahead, push the button, and it's installed. Now, unfortunately, I made an error here. I figured, since it was a mod, that I could replace it. It would scrap that current mod and put a new mod on, just like you do with weapons. But that is not the case. When you change out a mod for a different mod, so I had the uh, Tesla coils on and I wanted to install the medic pump, it deleted the mod and didn't store it. So here I am. That was the Tesla coils. And now I am running off to get aluminum that I need for the plans for the medic pump. So luckily, I don't live that far from a vendor. And the mining nodes there, I had nothing. I had already cleaned them out and used them for something else. So I'll just quickly zip well over to the vendor citizen. bot. I am and hopefully he has some aluminum. Supplies. 154 caps. That will be enough for the medic pump. Like I said, if it's a plan, you have to supply the materials. If it's a mod, they're already included. So right now on the torso, I have the Tesla coils. I didn't get a chance to test them out. I went ahead and finished up building the medic pump first and I figured it would save that mod but it does not it deleted the mod so now it's actually okay I'm out the money for it I learned a valuable lesson basically one plan or mod per piece of armor and it does not save the mods you will see that in a moment here so as you can see, it has the Tesla coils, and I want a medic pump instead. So it's going to ask me, do you want to scrap the current mod? So of course I say yes, I want to replace it with something else. This way, depending on what I'm doing, 
you know, I can switch out the uh, addition. But as you can see, the Tesla coils have vanished. So that mod is gone. So just fair warning to you, I learn as I go and hopefully this will help you guys out. Figure out really what you want to keep and if you can afford the plans, which I could not afford multiple plans, all I have to do now is go back and find another one of the explosive vent legs. So that's good. So right now, what we have here is the medical excavator torso. Now, if you're building these to sell or you wanna give them away to your friends, you have to attach it to an existing piece of excavator torso. So you can go into crafting, craft an excavator torso, and then add the medic pump to it. And then you're free to give it away or sell, etc. So oh, I hope this was helpful for you excavator power armor fans. I love it because it has so much extra carry weight. So thank you very much for watching this rather lengthy video. And I will see you out in the world once I figure out how to get out of my own house.